Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am breaking down dry cutting versus wet cutting, or wet cutting versus dry cutting, however you want to pair the two up against each other. A lot of my videos that everyone watches, they always leave a comment why I'm cutting the hair dry. Traditionally, when you go to a salon, you do your consultation, you get shampooed, you get your hair cut, you get it blown out, and then you leave. I typically will wash the hair, blow it out, so I see exactly what your hair texture is like, if there's any cowlicks, see how your hair's laying for me, and then I like to cut it. Sometimes I cut section by section as I dry it, but let's go back and, and look at history a little bit of why we got into the habit of cutting hair when it's wet. So many years ago, before there was running water in everyone's home, people went to the salon to get their hair washed. You would cut it, then set it, go under some kind of big dryer or other apparatus, so you would let your hair dry in the rollers, and then you would style it as desired, and then you would come back next week to get washed again. Now, with the invention of electricity, we have the blow dryer, so you can wash your hair and dry it a little faster. Now, me as a stylist, I tend to like to see how the hair and where it's gonna lay on my client before I cut it. And the only way to really do that is to dry it first. So hair stretches one and a half times its length when it's wet. So if I wanna cut someone's hair collarbone height, and I'm doing like a, like a lob, let's say, and I pull the hair when it's wet to their collarbone and cut it there, when I go to dry it, it's gonna be probably somewhere almost above her shoulder. That's not what you wanted. So it enables me to actually cut the hair to where the client wants it when I do cut it dry. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos, I use my razor shears a lot. I take a lot of weight and texture out of the ends. I can't do that when it's wet. I just can't see exactly how much weight I'm removing and see how the hair is flowing. So I like to do that when the hair is dry. This way, there again, there's no surprises. It's not to say I don't ever cut hair when it's wet because there are certain techniques I like to do when the hair is wet. Like I won't use a razor on dry hair. I use a razor on wet hair. If you use it on dry hair, your client's probably never gonna come back to you again because you're gonna put them through a lot of pain. It's gonna shred the hair out. There's a few guys I know out there who use a, like a straight edge on dry hair sometimes. That's cool, it's just not for me. I'd rather use my texturizer shears. So in this example of another reason why I cut hair dry, I'm cutting a one length bob, no layers on this client. As you see, I'm using my texturizers to point cut the ends of her hair to really soften up that edge. Then I go in there with my regular scissors and I refine that line. So it looks like it's a one length bob. It looks like there's no layers in there, but I'm using a little bit of elevation and I'm using a lot of texturizing on the ends. So the hair sits very nice and it has a lot of softness and a lot of flow to it. If you just were to pull section by section down and cut this hair when it's wet and not go back in there, when she dries, she's gonna look very bulky, almost like a broom. And I'm sure you've seen these people with these bobs when they cut it themselves at home. And they just cut right across the back of the hair and right across the front. It's this big, heavy bob looking like hair style. It just doesn't look pretty, it doesn't flow. Hair needs to, to be free, it needs to live. When it's wet, it's not in the state you're wearing it in all the time. So I prefer the cut to hair in the state you're wearing it in. So that's dry. So any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. The only issue that I, I do have to address for you stylists out there is when you do dry cut, your scissors get beat up a little bit. So uh, just know that you're gonna have to get them sharpened a little more often. Have a couple diff different scissors in your arsenal so you can always uh, use them as your other scissors get dull. And it's really important that you do know that because scissors are expensive and the more you dry cut, the quicker you're gonna need to sharpen them. So definitely get the right scissors for that job. So like I said, any questions or comments, please feel free to leave in the comment box below. Make sure you click subscribe, make sure you click follow and thumbs this video up. I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.